thank you again for being on this episode of the Race of Black Millionaires show. Um, I would like to take a moment to really talk to the parents, right? Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Colin, can you tell me about your respect of each of you, your upbringings, your experience socially and economically growing up? Either one of you can start. Well, uh, and my daddy would say our name is Colin. Colin, thank yes, you. Thank you. That Colin. makes sense. There's yeah, yeah, only yeah. one L. That's perfect. Yeah, right. Thank but, you. But, uh, Personally, myself, I was I was raised in the Lower Night Ward. Well, okay. One of uh, nine children, and, and, uh, and you know, my dad worked at the post office. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, okay. and uh, you know, we went to pretty much public school. But I was I was inspired to go to St. Aug in my high school years, and, okay. and uh, you know, so we you know we grew up just like everybody else in the Lower Night Ward. You know, some of the things that was the challenges of the Lower Night Ward, we I experienced them, and we experienced them, you know. And, uh, one of the things I knew and I saw that in, in my home, one of the things my mom did is make sure we stayed in some kind of program. Mm. Yeah, my mom always said, I don't mind as a devil workshop, yeah. no matter whether it was summer or if it was after school or whatever it was, she always made sure we stayed in program. Time was occupied. Yeah, she made sure that we was being exposed to things and, and we was getting prepared for things that later on in our lives would benefit us. You know, so. And um, so it really, it really was a great environment because to be there with my mom and my dad. My dad, uh, you know, he he was one that showed us how to go to work and leave one job, come home and get dressed and eat and go to our second job. And so hard work was something that we just saw. We we all saw in our in our family growing up and uh, just being around the guys in the neighborhood, um, the challenges and being able to just be living in that uh, neighborhood. Uh, I think it made me a better person as I grew up today. You know, so. Mm -hmm. so your dad worked for the post office Correct. and your mom was a stay-at-home mom. Right. Did mm -hmm. either of them venture into entrepreneurship at all? That's a good question because, uh, you know, my dad always talked about opening up a restaurant. Okay. But uh, my mom wasn't a risk taker. Okay. So they never, they never did pursue that. You know, Got it. You know, he retired and you know, just enjoyed retirement afterwards. And, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, that's just the question, to, to think about that question, what, what got into me to be able to want to see, what to move on. And it was, it was programs like I was in, involved in Junior Achievement. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was a program where I really got to understand what it was to be able to own and operate a, a business. Yeah, you know, we got yeah. great exposure to people who, mm -hmm. like one one man who had our company one year, actually brought us up to the highest level in the Lights Building downtown. Mm -hmm. And he brought us in his car corporate room, and what all the windows showing us the uh, the city of New Orleans and the river. And he yeah. said, "See all those steamboats out there?" He said. I, I own, I own, and my, my company, we run most of the steamboats. And he said, I'm from the Night Ward, and anything y'all want to do, if you pursue it, you can. He was also from he, the Night Ward. You never was. said right, what, right, what right. the Night Ward is from. The night water is the, the, the lower night. Yeah, the lower night. My night. husband is from the lower night. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. so you this know what good. I'm talking about. I but know, but for those you who know, yes, sir. You know, and I think, I'm not putting down the lower night because we're the place we know it's a lot of great people come out of the lower sure, night. Sure, across so, the canal, yeah. Right, across that canal. You know, that's the lower <laughs> night water. And, and it's unfortunate that even Hurricane Bessie, when I was four years old, mm. uh, that, you know, that impacted the lower night water. And then, we also know after Katrina, mm. the Lower Night War yeah. was uh, also it's impacted. Impacted, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, it's, it's still just the social economically co correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, you know, we didn't have we didn't have the best of everything, sure. but we had a lot of love. Yeah. We had people who cared. You know, they had the programs like Coach Edwards who coached me in park football and just pushed me and made me believe that I could do anything if I put my mind to it. You know, um, Coach Duke when I played basketball. You know, people who just sold into my life, Coach Lombard. At Lawless Junior High School, yeah. you know, uh, and ran track for him. I mean, they people who believed in you and you and just and pushed poured you, into you. And poured into you, yeah. and that made you feel, you know, that you, you can accomplish everything, yeah. you know, anything that you put your mind to.